Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood of Farmer Raznak and today we're expanding. That's right. We are expanding. It is time to build our little vineyard, our little winemaking, to expand our selections away from just beer, right? Beer, Beer's great, but we need some wine too. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Oh, look, it's a deer. Why at least? All right, no. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Hope you like the little video there at the beginning. Just kind of a little look at the sights and sounds of No Man's Land. Things are progressing, moving along very, very quickly. These people are crazy workers. Um, the map is filling up. Like if we look right here, you can see it's it's getting very, very full quick. Uh, this is bank land. This is all I own. I actually have the smallest farm on the server, but we're going to be expanding that. In fact, let's just buy it right now. Boop and boop and yep. And now that is our land. We own 36 and I'm going to have to charge some leasing because uh, some of these businesses are on my property. I'm going to have to charge a lease. But yeah, with what we're going to be able to do with this is I'm going to leave this lot here. And then if someone has to put down a place of business, they can buy a lot from me. Right, Raz, that's so smart. Um, we're going to clear some of these trees. I'm going to get all these little straggly trees cleared away. Uh, this field is going to be brought out all the way to this road. So we are going to get a little more field there. And then uh, I'm not quite sure what I'll do with this. Uh, but the grapes are going to run. In fact, I'm going to straighten this field out because the grapes are going to run here, I think. Yeah, they're going to run here along the hill. How I'm going to do it. So I'm going to run the grapes this like along this hillside. I think it's the plan. Or maybe I can put grapes here in this flat area. That'd be nice, too. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, but yeah, things are going great. Town is expanding. I'm going to do another video uh, very soon. Uh, we're going to add some more deco stuff, some houses, and kind of expand town and bring it to life. Uh, make it look very, very nice. But today is all about getting that winery built. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm doing financially, I got I won a lottery. So apparently the guys held a lottery and I won. And then... Uh, the, the government gave everybody a stimulus of $200,000. So actually I'm doing pretty good financially. I still have $165,000 loan, $125,000 in cash on hand. We're going to spend every bit of that in this episode. Yeah. Yep. We're going to spend a lot of that. I think we're actually going to put our winery right here. And then... Oh, we might run the grapes off of it this way. We might run some grapes here on both sides of that. We haven't have yet to decide, but what I have to do first is I have to get rid of all these trees. These are, trees are going to go bye bye, and then we have to cut the grass because that is always a step. And uh, yeah, I I'm, I'll be back after that. There's there's no reason for me to show you that. I'll be back after uh, all the grass is bailed up and gone. All the trees are cut. All those things are finished. We will be back and we'll start building out the winery. I will see you then. All right, mowing task is completed and everything has been taken uh, off the uh, loading wagon. I used the loading wagon. I took it over to my friend uh, Cowboys and Nuka's place. They have a fermenting silo. I switched to load. I gave them my grass, I took silage, I sold it, and I made $40,583 off of cutting the grass. All this stuff here, you can see where the blue is, we're kind of cut all this grass. So I made about 40 grand in silage off of that. That's a, that's a pretty sweet deal. That's a pretty good deal. All right, so now it's time. I maxed out my loan because uh, I want money to play with. And we're going to put down the winery. That's right. Let's go into production. This is the winery. It's a modding welt winery. And I have not, I don't know anything about it. But what I do hope are that these shed doors work. Because it'd be really, really cool if I can keep my equipment in here. That would be monumentally awesome. thought about putting it over here. But I actually think I'm going to put my grapes here. I actually think my grapes are going to go 
here along the road. And then my winery is going to be over here because it's a nice little flat spot that I can use to do that with. So let's um, let's do that. Let's let's get to it. So first things first, we're going to grab our leveling tool because you want to level before you do anything. Um, that's just the easiest way of doing these things. It costs a little bit of money, but you do want to level before you put anything down. That way, um, you don't have any surprise little bumps and stuff here and there. So that's done. Let's go to production. Let's drop down our winery. Even though I leveled, it's still, it's still being a pain in the butt. And then let's, uh, let's put it right here. There we go. There is our winery. Woohoo! $80,000. Please tell me these. Oh, yes! So excited! Oh, it comes with built-in storage. This is perfect. This is so perfect. Oh, all of our winery needs have been met with this, uh, this beautiful, beautiful little deal. Oh, this is, this is so very cool. I'm excited to use this. I mean, we got, I don't even, is this, what's up here? Get anything special here? Does this open? Oh, it'd be so cool if it did. Uh, let's jump over here. We got a nice little pass through. We got all this storage room. Oh man, this is like the ultimate shed. This is the ultimate machine for all of our tiny winery needs. This is everything that we've ever wanted in a placeable. It does production. Um, Owned by Brewery Beer Corp. That's us. Oh, I love these little, like, this little pass-throughs. Got a little house here. I can put my sleep trigger. This can be, like, my yard. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. I don't know about you guys, but clearly I already am having a lot of fun with this. Perfect. This is going to be great. Great, 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 great. Yep. I mean, we can, uh, we'll, we'll decorate it out. We'll put some roads in. We'll do all that here in just a bit. Now, with the winery, we need grapes, right? And I know it's a little ways away. I mean, it would be optimal to put the grapes here. Um, that's okay. We'll 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 make this we'll make this work for us. I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet. I've yet to decide. Uh, I think I might do something kind of fun, like wrap the hill in sunflowers. I haven't decided yet what I want to do there. Here, we're just going to extend this field. Uh, we're going to bring this field out this way and make a nice, big, beautiful field here. Uh, all the way to the road. And then, like I said, over here, this is going to be where we have our grapes. This is our where our grapes are going to be. And we're going to put those in nice, straight lines. And then, you know, yeah, that's what we're... That's this plant. That's, that's the plant. So what I'm going to do is enjoy the tunes and the music because I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and plow in the grape fields and I want to plow those in and I want to lime them and I want to pick up the stones I want to get all that done so that 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 part is finished because if you just put down the grapes you don't get those yield bonuses of plowed and uh, and other stuff so yep I will be right back see you in just a second
Alrighty, the fields are in. Um, just again, it, it may look a lot odd to you right now, but this will all make sense in the end, I promise. Because there's going to be like a dirt path here, and there's going to be kind of like a little kind of like staging area here. And then I'm, I'm going to have like a, a dirt road that kind of comes up this way. Like a little dirt path that cuts right through here and around back. It, it'll all make sense. And so people are like, Raz, why, why did you plow? And why did you lime? And why did you stone pick before you put in grapes? You can just put in the grapes. Well, because it was brought to my attention by my good friend, Mr. Gamejoy, who's here on the server, is you don't get the full field of bonus. You don't get the full 100% bonus. If you don't do this first, if you just put down the grapes on ground, right? You just come over here and you put grapes down on grass. Uh, the max you can get is 75% where if you plow lime stone pick, do all the stuff you're supposed to, and then put down the, the grapes you get 98%. Uh, I think you get almost 100%. So there is there is a perk to that. There is an advantage. And uh, yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to take out. So we've got kind of three little grape areas that we're going to put in. This is going to get very expensive. I, let's just get to it. Let's just drop in some grapes and uh, let's see what happens. Right? I mean, let's go for it. So production, orchards, grapes. And I want to keep these nice and straight, and that's why I'm hoping um, my my field lines are good because I, I want them as nice and straight as possible. We're going to put a fence here eventually, so we actually we're going to we're just kind of kind of set this one off the edge just a little, and we're going to run all the way down and. We're just going to eyeball it. I mean, I know it's hard to like get perfect and I wish there was like an absolute easy way, but there's not. And collides with another item. What's it colliding with? There's nothing there. The Why is it colliding with another item? Is it colliding with me? Am I the item it's colliding with? Let's try this again. Oh, <sighs> Silly, silly grapes. Let's do this first. Let's do these first. Nah, I want to do the long ones first. Let's do these first. Again, we're going to try to line this up as best we can using our little compass down here at the bottom. And then we kind of, I guess I could go right on the edge, but I'm not, I don't want to go right on the edge. Let's go. Oh, this is going to get expensive. It's going to get so very expensive. And I think, like, I think, yeah, nice even number. 95. I mean, that's about as straight as I can get up. Oop. And I think we did good here. We're off just a little. Mmm. We're off just a little. See how it's nice and straight, and then we, we actually we're off like one pixel. But that's all right. These things happen. But now that we have this one placed, the first one's the hard one because after that, it really doesn't matter. You just can start dropping these in, just like so. Sixteen thousand dollars a run. Expensive. Uh, very very expensive. Seventeen thousand dollars a run. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to have enough money to do all the fields. We may only be able to do this one grape field. Stuff is not cheap. Not cheap at all. Uh, we should be okay. 17,000. I mean, oof, be another 100 grand just for this field. Probably never make this money back. <laughs> I mean, we still got to buy a grape harvester. We still have all the all the stuff to do that goes with graping that has to be done. 
You know, I, I like this. I kind of like this placing rows, but I think it'd be cool as if you could draw a big square and then drop those in. I guess we could economy of motion work simplification. We can go back and forth. There we go. There we go, Raz. Now, now you're a professional graper. Yeah, this is not cheap. Not cheap at all. We're never, we're probably never going to make this money back. But that's all right. Because now we're in the grape business. We're in, we're in the beer and the wine. Well, not wine. It's grape juice and raisins. That's all it makes. But we're going to pretend it's wine. This will be our last one here. Just like so. There we go. Now let's do this top field, which is going to be a little different because uh, I can only get it so straight. Um, in fact, I think I just want to go to... This one's just going to be a little corner angle too large. What? Not going to let me... Serious, it's not it's not a corner angle too large. What's the corner angle too large? Dude. Pop that one in there. What we'll do is we'll come out one little tick each time and kind of give it like a, a nice angled edge. Oh. Here is kind of our last one. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. I have a little section that hasn't been limed, so it might look a little weird on the map. That's all right. Now, so we have the grapes up on the hill. We have the grapes here. Time for our last little grape section. It's going to run this way. It's going to run kind of this, this angle this way. Corner angle too large. Why? What? Corner angle too. I don't know what that means. And oh, good. We got a nice, good straight line on that one. Putting in grapes. This is my first time actually planting grapes. I haven't planted anything like this yet. Um, so it's still very new to me. As you can see, it is extremely expensive. We're probably going to spend all of our money on planting the grapes. We're not going to have any equipment to take care of. We're going to have to lease equipment. The good thing is, is I'll be selling beer here in a month. Uh, July will be beer time when the beer has a good sell price. So selling beer. Um, but yeah, until then... I am broke again. <laughs> There's no easy way to say this, but other than flat busted. But there is our our vineyard uh, in all of its glory. Nice and neat and put together. Uh, we got kind of like a little bit there, a little here, a little here. I think it looks really cool. I think it's going to be go very nice. Of course, over there is kind of our processing facility and all of our equipment storage. So we'll have to drive over here to get the grapes. I'm going to fence this in. We're also going to kind of put, put some dirt tracks. We're going to make it all nice and pretty. And what I'll do is, uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get that part done off camera. We'll get it decorated up looking real nice. And I will show you the finished product in just a few seconds. This is the magic of YouTube. All right, we'll see you there. And we are kind of done for now because I am broke. I am completely broke. I am uh, $500,000 in debt. I have $13,595 left in the bank account. Um, so I can't, I don't have any money for the equipment needed to, uh, <laughs> to work with the grapes. So I'm going to have to get to work making some money. And to do that, I don't know if you can see it from here, but you see this vast forest, this monster giant forest over there. Uh, I'm going to go work as a lumberjack for a while. That's right. Cowboy Nuka 
Cooley, Gizmo, all those guys are paying money to cut trees, and that's that's what I'm gonna have to do. That's what I'm gonna have to do to earn money until my beer is ready, because uh, I still still got some wheat beer processing, and I have a bunch of beer in storage, but we're not gonna be able to sell anything until July, and uh, yeah. That's just I would I would prefer to be able to get in here and start working with this. Uh, there's a lot of decorating I still want to do. I want to put fences in, uh, but I don't have the money for that. I also want to decorate up over here at the, the winery. I, I need I need to do some some clean up work here. Um, so yeah, I'm broke. I have spent. Four hundred and forty three thousand eight hundred and nine dollars today uh plus i bought a new chunk of land and i upgraded my john deere i put the bigger horsepower engine in it um because i wanted to i probably shouldn't have done that but i did anyways so yeah i am broke all of that stimulus money is gone i've borrowed myself into debt once again and uh, yeah, I don't know if we're ever going to get out of it. We will find out. Will the grapes pay off? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I might get like a thousand bucks worth of grapes off of that. <laughs> There's not many grapes over there. It's not many. Uh, but once we turn them into grape juice and raisins, we might make a little money. It's not going to be tons of money, but it'll be fun. And that's the most important part. We're going to do some field expansion here. Like I said, I think I'm going to put a ribbon of sunflowers around this and then i think i'm gonna put uh i don't know i might do something with this little area up here maybe some beehives i've, I've yet to decide yet got to come up with some ways to make some more money and generate some more income but in the meantime heading off into the forest to be a lumberjack and that's it for today's video guys thank you so very much for tuning in i really really do appreciate it let me know what you think in the comments don't be afraid to hit that like button it really helps out and if you're not a subscriber to the channel please consider doing so. Uh, the next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.